Hey, welcome back, folks. A short one today. I'm going to talk about uh, the myth of bears and geldings, and something that you will hear a lot of, and is still very common practice for a lot of people, is they think that the mares and geldings must be segregated. Now, the the, the only time that that uh, might be slightly true is when the mares are in heat. Sometimes the boys will get a little bit competitive over who is allowed to hang around certain mares, being, well, the ones that are cycling in heat, what are in season, whatever you want, whatever term you want to use for it. Uh, when they're ovulating, uh, certain horses, the more dominant ones will claim them and say, oh, this is mine, even though they can't do a darn thing. But due to the fact that there is sometimes a little bit of competitiveness, uh, and even amongst the mares sometimes, uh, when one is in heat, uh, they'll get a little bit defensive um, and tell the other marys, oh, get away from my boyfriend sort of thing, you know, like I said, they can't do a darn thing. So on rare occasions, yes, there can be a little bit of competitiveness and a little bit of conflict, but for the most part, though, having marys and geldings together is 100% fine. Now, in nature, uh, that doesn't happen, but then again, in nature, there's no such thing as a gelding. There's only stallions and mares, and stallions, well, there's generally only one of them in a herd, except for the youngsters, uh, but as they grow up, once they get to a certain age, uh, the lead stallion chases them away. But I just want to show you something here, because uh, this herd is no different than many I have seen, where the mares and geldings are together, and I, I'm, I'm showing you this to prove to you that, yeah, it can be done quite successfully. Now what you're looking at there is, uh, I do believe that's uh, a gelding uh, right next to a mare and uh, can't see the head on that other fellow there so I'm not sure which one it is because, uh, well, there's several of them that actually look quite a bit alike around here uh, moving down the line. Uh, you see a whole bunch of horses here side by side all getting along perfectly peacefully not so much as a weenie out of any of them and uh, it's both mares and geldings. And they're all mixed together, they live together, they get along together just 100% fine. So, back to the myth. Mares and geldings. Uh, so, back to the stereotypical myth of mares and geldings. Can you have them together? Well, of course you can. And not just here, but I've seen it done quite a few other places. Uh, actually, what you're seeing here, that's not even all of the horses. There's a few more around here in other areas that I'd have to do a 360 panoramic shot in order to even get some of them in. That's assuming they're not stepping in behind a building at the moment or something that makes it impossible to actually catch them on camera. But can you keep mares and geldings together? Absolutely. It's done frequently. It's done successfully. Lots of people are doing it. Uh, it's only a myth that for some people, I, I, and I'm, you know, aside from the fact there is sometimes a little bit of conflict that goes on, uh, I'm not even sure why people tend to think that you can't keep mares and geldings together. Uh, I, I really see no reason. It's not practical because that means you have to uh, split your pasture, put in another automatic water bowl for the other one, and it, it's, it's a lot more work. It really is. It's a lot more work. Now, for those of you that have show horses that must be absolutely pristine and kept clean and everything else, well, maybe you're going to want to segregate them. I don't know. Uh, they might stay looking a little bit better, but, you know, nothing that, it's not just, you know, they're just horses being horses, and, yeah, occasionally there's going to be a little mud on them or, you know, from another horse or a little slobber on them or maybe they even an uh, odd patch of hair missing where they get bit. You know, and, and that stuff will happen, but then again, uh, even if you segregate them, uh, separate the, the males and females, that can still happen. If there happens to be, you know, particularly when you introduce new horses, they have to determine the hierarchy in the herd, you know, who fits in where. And sometimes, depending on the horses involved, uh, the competition can actually be fairly aggressive. And, uh, you know, sometimes looks a little bit scary, but don't, don't worry, don't get upset. That's normal. Uh, but like I said, you know, mares and geldings together, uh, the potential is there for there to be slightly more problems than having them separated. But, 
you know, you're separating them, you're not going to eliminate your problems and they can get along successfully as you see by the ones behind me that are all peacefully coexisting uh, and eating side by side uh, and no problems whatsoever. So, the myth, mares and geldings, can you have them together? Of course you can. Have a good day.